All right, guys, so I'm just going to walk you through real quick um, the difference between genotype, phenotype, and how to use a Punnett square to tell the chance of an animal getting certain traits depending on their alleles or types of genes. <clears throat> so, if we look at a certain trait, right, right now we're going to look at the difference between white fur and brown fur in rabbits. Uh, that is controlled by a gene for fur color. Now, different types of that gene, right, there's a gene for white fur color and brown fur color. They're both fur color genes, but they're different types of the same gene are called alleles, okay? And we use these letters to represent alleles. So in this case, I'm going to use a capital W for white fur because the white fur allele is dominant, okay? And I'm going to use a lowercase b for brown fur because the brown allele is recessive. So let's look here. If I have, here's one parent, okay, and we'll, we're going to say this parent has um, a dominant allele for white fur and a recessive allele for brown fur. Okay, this is one adult. We'll call this uh, dad. Over here, we're going to say one parent, this is mom, has an allele for white fur and an allele for brown, or an, and a recessive allele for brown fur. All right, so again, this one is mom. <clears throat> All right, so again, the Punnett square, the top represents one parent. The side represents another parent, and it represents their genes for a specific trait. Again, right now we're talking about color of fur in rabbits. Okay, so <clears throat> before I even fill this out, I can figure out some of this table here. All right? What this table is, is it's going to tell us what are the different combinations of alleles, what's the genotype for that, what is the phenotype, and what's the chance of getting that result. So let's look at the alleles. All right, so we know that our alleles are a capital W and a lowercase b. So we can just write down all the different combinations, right? We could have two dominant alleles, all right? The genotype, again, the genotype, you should have this on your. Um, you should have this on your vocab boxes. The genotype is the genetic makeup of something. So what do the genes look like that cause a trait? So the genotype is going to be the same as the alleles here. The genotype is dominant, dominant. The phenotype, okay, I know these are kind of confusing because they sound alike, but the difference here is genotype is the genes that something has. Phenotype is the physical pH, phenotype, physical characteristics that something gets because of those genes. So, if this animal had a genotype of dominant, dominant, and in this case, dominant stands for white fur, we would know its phenotype is white fur. <clears throat> All right? So here's one combination of alleles. Another combination could be a dominant and a recessive. Now, because we know that a dominant allele will cover up a recessive allele, that because this bunny has a dominant allele, okay, so its genotype is dominant, recessive, so this would be the genotype. Because it's dominant recessive, because it has a dominant gene for white fur, it doesn't, this gene right here doesn't matter. Okay? So we know that this genotype would lead to a phenotype, again, of white fur. So just always remember, anytime there's a capital letter, a dominant allele, the body is going to listen to that allele, and it's not even going to worry about this recessive one. Now, if we have our third possible combination, which is 
recessive, recessive, our genotype is recessive, recessive. Our phenotype, what is the physical characteristic? Phenotype, if I took a photo of this thing, what would I see? I would see, because we have two recessive alleles, I would see brown fur. Alright? So, we already know this, we don't know the chance yet, because that depends on our uh, two sets of genes with our parents. <clears throat> But just remember, genotype is the genetic, the genes that something has, the genetic makeup. Phenotype, pheno, uh, physical characteristics, pheno, photo. If I took a photo of this thing, what would I see? This is what we see because of the genes. All right, so let's fill out our Punnett square. All right, on a Punnett square, like you saw um, on your opener, I always distribute the top letters down and the letters on the side over to the right. So, what I'm looking for in a Punnett square is, what are the chances of parent one and parent two having either a white fur bunny, white fur bunny, or a brown fur bunny? All right, so, let's go ahead and distribute this down. So, uh, we'll do dad first. So, dad could give a dominant gene here or here. He could give a recessive gene here or here. Alright, so I've done dad's genes here. Now we're going to do mom's genes. Mom could give a dominant gene. A dominant gene. So notice I'm distributing this here and here. Or she'd give a recessive gene and a recessive gene. Alright, so here are all the possible combinations between mom and dad. So now we can look back at our chart here and figure out what are the chances of having this genotype, this genotype, this genotype, or white fur or brown fur. Okay, so we want to know this allele, this genotype, what are the chances of this offspring being born with two dominant alleles for white fur? Alright, if I look up here, I have... One, two, three, four squares. How many of them have this? I only have one with dominant dominant. So one out of one, two, three, four, chance of one and four, or 25% chance. Okay? <clears throat> now, what are the chances of this bunny being born with a dominant and a recessive genotype? Okay, so we have dominant recessive. Uh, this the order doesn't matter. Okay, we're just looking at does it have a dominant and a recessive. So dominant recessive. This one has a dominant recessive. This one has a dominant recessive. So that gives us two possible combinations out of one, two, three, four. So two out of four is the same as one half. or 50%. All right, now what are the chances of having a recessive recessive? I imagine you guys probably have got this figured out where this is going. I have a recessive recessive right here. That's one out of one, two, three, four. So I have one out of four or 25% chance. So we can say that this parent, I'm sorry, these two parents have a 25% chance of having a brown fur bunny, which as you guys are going to see, could be beneficial or not, depending on where these bunnies live. <clears throat> okay, so this is telling us the chance of a genotype. Okay. This is telling me what's the chance of being born with this, or being born with this. What we can also look at is what are the chances of a different phenotype, because that's a lot of cases what we care about, right? I don't know what my genes are, I want to know what is my phenotype going to be. Am I going to have blue eyes, blonde hair, all that kind of stuff. So, there's only two different phenotypes here, right? A bunny can be white, 
or brown. Phenotype or our physical characteristics. I can have a white bunny or a brown bunny. So, let's see chances of a phenotype. Okay, and again, I only have two phenotypes here, white and brown. So, I can have a white bunny or a brown bunny. Okay, so here we're going to do the same thing. So for this time, I'm going to look at not the combination of dominant recessive. I'm going to look at what does that produce, all right? So I know, okay, if I'm looking for white fur, I know that because this has a dominant gene, it'll produce white fur. I know because there's a dominant here, that'll be white fur. I know because there's a dominant here, that'll be white fur. Okay? This one, because there's no allele for white fur, this is a double recessive gene, that'll be brown fur. Okay, so I can say that this offspring has a one, two, three, three out of four. Four chance of having white fur, that's the same as. 75%, and a 1 in 1, 2, 3, 4 chance of having brown fur, all right? So again, brown is what we would call a recessive gene. So if this was real life, we would expect to see a lot more white furred bunnies than there are brown. Just like in life, we see more uh, brown-haired people than we see blonde haired people or we see more brown eyed people than we see blonde eyed people because uh, that is a what's called a recessive gene it doesn't occur as often because there has to be two alleles so again alleles are different types of the same gene so these are both types of fur color gene okay but they're different types of it <clears throat> genotype are these letters right here Okay, that tells us what are the alleles something has. Phenotype are the physical characteristics. So phenotype is where you describe what you would see. All right? 